on behalf of the Portuguese Catholic University, I would like to say how much pleased we are today with the signature of this agreement, concluding a process of dialogue and mutual knowledge during the last years. This is the natural consequence of a common discovery of our universities. We are both confessional universities with a religious perspective of the world and life. So, we are both axiologically oriented institutions. We have both international dimension and perspectives extended for more than one continent and country from Asia until Europe as in the case of the Aga Khan University and from Europe to Asia as in the case of the Portuguese Catholic University and looking both for all the world. Today marks a historic day as the Aga Khan University or AKU establishes its first intellectual relationship in Portugal with one of its premier centers of higher learning, the Portuguese Catholic University. The signing of this agreement in the presence of the Cardinal Patriarch and His Highness the Aga Khan, the Imam of the Ismaili Muslims, is significant as it is but one embodiment of the larger relationship in Portugal between the Catholic Church and the Ismaili Imamate. This collaboration between our universities is based on a collective commitment to go beyond common boundaries, to build bridges between diverse faiths and peoples by connecting different parts of the world together through the universal language of scholarship. The collaboration between our universities will cover disciplines such as culture, law, religion, ethics, the life sciences, education, as well as early childhood development. An initial area of common interest identified co for cooperation is the comparative study of the impact of religion on the evolution of legal systems as it relates to the law of the land and the bearing on civil society. This specific program will be led from AKU side by our Institute for the Study of Muslim Civilizations in London, England. The Aga Khan University and the Portuguese Catholic University are building this relationship on our strong value systems and ethical frameworks that underpin our common goal of equitable human advancement. Through this partnership, we will collectively project Portugal's capabilities to contribute to capacity enhancement in countries of the developing world in Africa and Asia. This particular agreement is the beginning of a relationship between two universities that were started by faith organizations but are secular universities and offer programs in many different disciplines. Our collaboration with the uh, Portuguese Catholic University will result in a better understanding in looking at issues uh, in the developing world of education, of malnutrition, of life sciences, of, ed of teacher education of food uh, development and, and, and looking at uh, food production. All of these areas which are, are of concern of the world today are areas in which one of our two universities has some expertise, but by pooling our resources, we will be able to look at real life problems and try and develop solutions for them.
beautiful voice. That, in the mountain of virtues, enchants the flowers and the wakes the sound of animals. I am your warrior and your pacifist, your guardian and your servant, but have no swords or shields. I only have my music, with which I make a melody from your sweet words. That becomes a prayer in my heart. You, that give me strength, I ask you forever, walk with my inspiration. The last five decades were fertile in changes in the worldwide context and society. The challenges presented at that time were often perceived as hindering the progress of the Jamaats. In all these challenges, Maulana Hazri Imam's hand was beside us, pushing us further, giving us hope and confidence and ensuring our safety. The Imam's leadership and guidance allowed the Jamaat and the institutions to increase their capacity and better face the challenges in a continuous evolving society. Khudavin has consistently brought new hope to many around the world regardless of their faith or ethnicity, reminding us all of the invaluable meaning of human life as Allah's noblest creation, reminding the world that diversity is a singular human beauty. Khudavin, it is perhaps not a coincidence that the Golden Jubilee visit to Portugal has converged with the celebration just two days ago of the 10th inaugura inauguration anniversary of the Smiley Center, Lisbon, on 11th July. This magnificent gift that Maulana Hazar Imam bestowed upon the Portuguese jurisdiction and the worldwide Jamaat has brought immense benefits and joy. <clears throat> 
visitors often refer to the magnificence of the Ismaili Center's architecture, ambience, and facilities, identifying it as a place of harmony, of cultural encounters and reflection. When they commend the building for its service and contribution to the construction of a pluralistic society, we think, it was the vision and generosity of our beloved Imam. For all your guidance and direction, Kudavin, we say shukrana, thank you, merci, gracias, obrigado. <laughs> but we remain aware that no words can ever express the immensity of our gratitude for Imam's benevolence. To mark this very special occasion of the Golden Jubilee Jamati Institutional Dinner, Hazar Imam, we seek permission to submit a small memento as a token of the Portuguese jurisdiction Jamati institutions, loyalty and gratitude for Kudavin's benevolence and guidance. Molana Hazar Imam, this memento consists of a silver filigree piece depicting a 16th century caravel, period considered as the zenith of the Portuguese discoveries and for many believed to have been the beginning of globalization. Now that physical roots are already discovered, we hope that this humble gift can symbolize the Imam's endeavors to the establishment of new pathways of connection and dialogue within mankind. I'd like to tell you how immensely happy I am to have been here tonight and to have celebrated with you this uh, jubilee visit to Portugal. Since some time, Portugal has been a country in which the Jamaat and its institutions and the Imamat have been experimenting with new initiatives to see whether it would be possible in the Western world, in a strongly Catholic country, to establish new initiatives which would bring together people of Christian backgrounds and Muslim backgrounds to work together to try to solve some of the issues that are ahead of us. And we are trying something which has never been tried before. And for an institution of faith to enter into a formal diplomatic relationship is extremely important in the sense that that agreement has to function within the faiths of both communities. Therefore, the objectives need to be compatible with the objectives of this society and of the imamat of the Jamaat. And I want to take this occasion this evening to compliment you for the magnificent preparation for this Jubilee visit, for the wonderful way in which the Centre presents itself after some ten years of life. It has been a most happy visit. And I hope that the Jamaat and the leaders realize that for me it's very important to see happiness in the Jamaat, to see young people who feel at ease. Because one of the things that has most often been said to me here in Portugal is the quality of our leadership. And I wanted you to know that because the leaders are assembled here and uh, the image that you have given of the Jamaat is noted outside the Jamaat. And that creates a sense of trust and confidence. People come together around competence, around ability, around knowledge. They don't like mediocrity. I hope that it will be a wonderful evening, a happy evening, and congratulations. Mubarak. Thank you.
practical terms was that we're going to support 300 schools at the national level. According to the request of the schools in the, in the area, they're going to buy books for the reading, which suit according to the Portuguese policy of the education services. We are very much committed uh, to uh, improve the literacy standards uh, of uh, Portuguese children. We have had a problem with these standards, and so we would like to involve uh, different partners from the civil society. And uh, the Aga Khan uh, Network he has been uh, working uh, with uh, some edu educational projects that we find very interesting. And so for us, it's very important to have uh, uh, the Aga Khan Network um, um, on board. Come on.